Thundra. And, of course, uh, Fester has an interesting... <laughs> Thundra. <laughs> what? Fester's face when you say that word. <sighs> okay. I love Thundra. How Th- can we th- help listen. Thundra? Thundra, uh, you got to hear this. Th- I- I'm wondering how many people are having the same deal. So she puts up a video, which someone sent me. I'm like, where did this go? Thundra didn't even send this to me. Did you put, do you uh, follow her on Instagram? I, I don't. A listener, wow. a listener sent me the link to this. Hey, isn't this Thundra? Thundra has been on the show numerous times, and uh, you know she'll uh, like offer up. Uh, uh, oh, I got to do rock the cash box. Uh, Thundra will do uh, like like some well, dream interpretation, dream interpretation, in psychic stuff, dream yeah. interpretation. You know she gets along very well with uh, Roxanne. Uh, hey, I'll explain in a second. Roxanne and it, gets along well with everybody. Yeah, she does. There is sound. She put a video online with a major problem she's having. And I'm wondering how many other people have this issue. She posted this video that a listener made me aware of. I, I, I must have a ton of hits already because if I have listeners that are f- stumbling across this saying, hey, this is the Thunder Dream Interpreter, isn't it? I'm like, yeah. So I sent the link to Andrew. Andrew... Uh, our producer, he downloads the audio, and I'm watching this. I'm like, this is a nightmare. How many people have had this problem? And it has to do with buying merch from a well-known retailer. It happens to be Coach. So Coach purses and Coach uh, yeah. stuff. But it's it doesn't seem like it's Coach's fault. She paid via PayPal. And it seems like PayPal has just ripped her off sideways and won't give her her money back after Coach refunded. Here, listen to the story. This is crazy. I made several purchases last June from Coach Outlet. I ordered quite a few different items, and I was going to decide what I wanted because the Coach store is like four or five-hour drive from me because I live in the boonies. So I ordered a few different items. I decided what I wanted, and then I sent back, I think, three different things. I received two emails in July stating that Coach had refunded my purchase to PayPal because that's who I paid through. I never got this refund on PayPal, and so I contacted Coach because I thought the problem was on their end. Not exaggerating, I spent between July and December 12 to 15 hours on the phone with Coach. My God, 12 to 15, between July and December of last year? Trying to figure out, hey, uh, return the merchandise. Uh, where's my refund? Multiple phone calls, talking to multiple supervisors. Like, everybody kept telling me something different. So finally, a coach supervisor did a, like, conference call with PayPal. And they said that the problem was on PayPal's end. That, and PayPal admitted this. They said that the funds had come through from coach. And they were yet to be released to me so that I needed to file a dispute with PayPal and ask for them to release the funds. This was in December because it took me that long to figure out what the hell was going on. So I filed a dispute in early January, like January 2nd. They immediately rejected it. And they said, oh, you can't file a dispute after 180 days. Oh, my God. This is like a nightmare. Hold on. Listen. Like, Well, I just found out and y'all have my money like this isn't like i'm trying to get a refund on something i bought forever ago and never returned and changed my mind a year later like i've been trying to actively get my money now since last july so i called paypal and got on the phone with somebody i explained everything they looked at all the documentation and i've had two people from paypal now say oh yeah we can see we have your money we need to release the funds file a dispute so I filed two disputes, and now they've both been rejected. And there's nothing else I can do. What I have- the hell? Is this how PayPal makes money? Just by keeping people's funds like, to wait over the 100 days? Exactly. Oh, man. What a mess. Here, listen to the conclusion. I've racked my brain. Coach gave them my money, and they are literally holding my money hostage, and they won't give it back to me, and I don't know what- It's like money heist. Do you call a lawyer? I don't know of any. 
PayPal class action suits out there. Right now, Thunder lives in the boonies somewhere, like in Wisconsin or Minnesota, Michigan, or, Minnesota. Yeah, yeah, where one of those she things. lives like in like the, I mean the boonie boonies, as she's told us in the past. So you know, I, I was gonna say you know like better call Banking or something. Or call the uh, the I team investigators at Channel Twenty Eight uh, or something. There's like better but, call beavers. Yeah, it's just so far <laughs> up in the woods. Better, better I mean, I don't know, help. I don't even know if they have TV up there where, in the wherever the hell she is. So I don't even know if there's like some kind of consumer activist reporter you can call. I mean, Where she I'm live just... with the inbred Whitakers? <laughs> yeah. Where she live? No, that's I think that's the Whitakers are in West Virginia. Oh, okay. Yeah, <laughs> right, hang on. There's thirty more seconds here. What else I can do, and it's like quite a bit of money. It's not like I'm rolling in it over here. So at this point, I don't even know what to do to get my money back because PayPal is has literally stolen from me. Oh. And nobody that I've talked to called, emailed, like everybody's admitting they, oh yeah, we have your funds. But then when I file the dispute, it gets rejected. So you know what it sounds like it sounds like it's some computer thing. And if you get a hold of somebody at PayPal, I'm guessing you're you're getting somebody named, uh, you know. Uh, some fake name of like uh, Jerry. It's all overseas in, in, in the Philippines yeah, or it's something, all right? Overseas. Yeah, yeah. You know what? Uh, just that. Yeah, yeah. Hello, this is Peggy. Yeah, uh, yeah. Right. Oh, sure. Yeah. Hello, Show Peggy. me your birth certificate if you if you even have those over there. All right. So, I, I I'd love to hear from our listeners. Has anyone been through like this PayPal nightmare? Has anyone tried to get money back? She seems like she's caught in this. This circular trap here of trying to get money back. You call, they see it, file a dispute. She files it, it gets rejected. She's back to square one. I mean, anyone have any advice? Has this happened to anyone in the past that Coach refunded her money to PayPal? And now PayPal, it's like there are a bunch of hoodlums over there. Like they've stolen her money. They won't give her the money back. Uh, How did she not see this coming? What money are you that's talking right, about? That's right. She is a psychic. Or... I mean, come on. No, no. I think she's more of a dream interpreter. Uh, hold oh, on. Oh. If anyone has any insight here or has anyone had any experience or anything similar, 800-990-1047. 800-990-1047. That's how you join us. 800-990-1047. All right. 10 more seconds here. Well, I don't even know what to do at this point. Has anybody had this happen to them or can suggest what the hell I can do? Because this is ridiculous. And it makes me wonder how many people they've done this to. This is, like, outrageous to me. So there you go. W what do you do? I mean, I got to be honest. I, I was kind of fascinated by the story. How many millions and millions of dollars is PayPal, like, hijacking? And how many people never get the money back? And what is that? That money just goes to the PayPal bottom line? It's got to be a revenue stream. It's got to be something on their bottom line, yeah. Uh, hold on. Scott's in Lakeland. Oh, look at, oh, my God. Look at the phones. Oh, my God. Every line. Every line just went boom. I right, tell you what. If it's ringing, just give Andrew a second to screen your call. Let me start with Scott in Lakeland. Hey, Scott, you're on the MJ Morning Show. Hi. How are you doing? Yes, Scott. So back in the day when I was selling on eBay, <clears throat> I used to sell a lot on eBay. We were doing a million a year back in the 90s. Oh, you're doing what? A million a year back in the 90s. You're selling a million a year on eBay? Yeah. That's oh, hey, is this Scott Is this Scott the pawn shop guy? It is. Oh, hey, Scott. How you doing? From uh, West Coast uh, Pawn, right? Yep. Yeah, in Lakeland. All right, go ahead, Scott. So, hold on one second. I'm trying to get my granddaughter out to school. So, yeah. um, we um, woke up one day. PayPal froze my account with $243,000 in it. What? They wanted receipts where I bought everything from. So back then... We what, they think you were some racket ripping off Walmart and Target and then selling it on eBay? Yeah, so back then we were, we hit all the good yard sales, pawn shops, the flea markets, and we sell it all on eBay. But uh, it took me a lawyer. I had to get a lawyer. It cost me twelve grand. It took me four months to get my money back. So I transferred all the money. Once I got control of my money, I transferred all the money back out of my account. And I left like ten grand in there. Two weeks later, they froze that. What the hell? So, listen, I guess the moral of the story is uh, avoid PayPal like the plague? Exactly. That's unbelievable. So is, PayPal, PayPal is not a government, not a government-assured entity. Yeah. They can do whatever they want to whoever they want for any reason they want. There's nothing you or anybody else can do about it. Yeah, that sucks. Also, with eBay, uh, with new eBay policies, didn't you have to give them, like, control of your bank account or something? Well, PayPal doesn't do payments through eBay anymore. They got PayPal does, or eBay does their own payments. Yeah. But the bottom, but the bottom line is, 
the um, <clears throat> the bottom line, the bottom line is they just don't care. I mean, I I mean, I call them so much. Their number is four zero two nine three five two zero one seven. Wow, <laughs> it's like eight one three three one zero eight four four four. It's like Fester's cell phone. <laughs> Listen, there's a website called PayPalSucks.org. Take a look at that sometime. You won't be able to sleep for a week. PayPal. Wait a minute. There are, uh, PayPalSucks.org, and it's, it's a website with all these horror stories? All right. There's stories there that make mine look like it never existed. Oh, my God. Scott, thanks for the call, man. Keep in touch. Uh, yeah, he owns uh, West Coast Gun and Pawn in Lakeland. Uh, Alan is in Spring Hill. Hey, Alan. Hey, how you doing? Doing well. Listen, uh, you know, most generally your PayPal account is linked to your bank and if that payment came out of her bank she should be able to go to through her bank and and have them investigate and do a reversal on it uh we'll pass it along i I don't know if thunder listens every morning but we'll send her a message and and tell her to uh you know listen to the podcast and and hear all these calls and advice thank you alan k is in saint pete hey k good morning mj hey good morning i sent I sent a um, direct message to the MJ Morning Show Facebook chat a year ago about this entire, the same situation, about this PayPal situation. Hey, Kay, can you pick up – hey, Kay, your speaker's a little wacky. Can you pick up the regular phone? Is this better? Uh, about a 1,000%, yes. All right, go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Okay. Um, I was saying I sent an e- – hold on, i got to turn my radio down. Okay. I was saying I sent an, uh, a direct message to the MJ Morning Show Facebook chat a year ago. About- well, Fester runs that. Fester, did you get an, uh, a Facebook chat? We get a bunch of them. Uh, go ahead, Kay. I don't know. I'm sure you do. Whatever, um, so my friend was using, she uses PayPal. She does like a bunch of online freelance jobs, and they all pay through PayPal. And so she was using, you know, PayPal to get her payments. And they froze her account, held on to her money, and sent her a letter saying she could no longer do business with PayPal. And I think this this was in, like, February of, of 2021. So, actually, it's two years ago. <laughs> so, um, she did eventually get it cleared up and was able to use her PayPal account again. I think it took her, like, three or four months. That is insane. All uh, right. Hey, yeah. thank you, Kay. Appreciate it. Look at the phones have exploded. Jennifer's in Clearwater. Jennifer, MJ Morning Show. Hi. Good morning. How are you? We are well. Do you have a, a PayPal payment nightmare story? No, but I just think that she, I mean, there has to be something that she can do. Sue them. I mean, just the expenditure, getting a lawyer. I Listen, I don't know how much money it is, but a bunch of items from Coach, I, it's got to be hundreds of dollars. Yeah, several hundred Absolutely. dollars at least. You know, but here's the thing. They, they have their policy, Jennifer. They say you can't do something after 180 days. They're following their policies. But it took her... Time to get but things she, resolved with Coach, and then it. I mean, what a she's like caught in this this uh, this circular nightmare here. Right. So, so I understand the whole hundred eighty day thing, but she's actively been trying to get her money back, and they say they have that. Yeah. Let it go. I mean, if if, if they're not going to give it back to her, then sue them. Thanks, Jen. Appreciate it. Rhonda's in Tampa. Hey, Andrew, I'm just going to take like uh, three, four more calls, and then uh, I got to move on. Uh, Rhonda, Tampa, you're on the MJ Morning Show. Hi. Good morning. How are you guys? We are well. Go ahead, Rhonda. Okay, so this wasn't as complex as the other caller, but we had an eBay business, and we bought a Coach wallet for like 12 bucks, right? Yeah. So we put it on eBay, and we sold it. I don't know. I think we got like 75 bucks, and the person kept our wallet, and eBay, um, like we were going back and forth with eBay, PayPal, and they were like, yeah, we're sorry. We can't give you your money back. And here's the thing. I'm not going to sue because it's, you know, 12 bucks. But well, hold on. What happened with the buyer of the wallet? Yeah, well, the buyer of the wallet said that it wasn't, like, what he wanted, right? And so we were like, okay, that's fine. Just send it back, right? Um, he said that he sent it back. Oh, so he said he sent the wallet back. Then he also got refunded for the purchase, right? Yeah, with our money, and we told them no, but, you know, and they could see everything, but PayPal refused to give us our money back. That sucks. So, listen, ultimately, you were just out 12 bucks, but still, that sucks. Thank you, Ron. Appreciate it. Josh is in Wesley Chapel. Hey, Josh. Hey, guys. How are you doing today? Good. What happened to you? 
Um, so it was actually my wife. Um, I don't know. So she gets Starbucks quite a bit, and the Starbucks app links to PayPal. So if you go on her PayPal history, she has only ever used it at Starbucks. Well, about three months ago, we wake up, and she has a message that says her refund for a penny has been accepted. So she immediately called PayPal, said there was something fraudulent about it. They said, don't worry about it. The next day, we had a $60 charge come out of PayPal for some coins that apparently someone said she bought in California. So they were like testing your account with a one penny transaction to make sure it was uh, good. And then they, they, they rip you off for 60. And then we spent the next two weeks talking to PayPal. And at the end of the day, they said there was nothing they could do about it. It was a valid transaction and we were basically SOL. Yeah, that sucks. All right. Thanks, Josh. Appreciate it. All right. Last call on this. Ken is in Wesley Chapel. Hey, Ken, MJ Morning Show, you're on. So when uh, I first started my business, I uh, uh, people would ask me to take credit cards, and I didn't at the time, but I ended up signing up with PayPal because they had a credit card transaction you know, company at the time. They've since gotten rid of that branch. Uh, but when I grew to the point where I was getting more and more credit card transactions, they put a hold on my account. And the problem with that was is it was a it was a large amount of money and when I called them, they said they wanted tracking numbers to show that I had, you know, shipped these items. And I said, Well, I, I'm not you know, when I signed up, I'm I'm not I'm not a shipper. Like this is a repair business. I d I don't ship things. And they didn't accept that and they wanted they said no. The, you know we. Well, they think you were like like a a money launderer or something. Something. Yeah. And so they wanted to put a huge hold on this for you know over ninety days, one hundred and twenty days, something ridiculous. Uh, but the one thing they would let me do was refund my customers, and so I just talked to all my customers, and I just had them refund everything, and I ended up signing up with a different processor, and so I just cut their legs out from under them and went back to my customers. Uh, and worked it out that way. But they, yeah, yeah, they, they're backwards. What a mess. Ken, thanks for the call. Wow. And if you're just tuning in, Thundra, who's done like some dream interpretations on the show and, and uh, like some psychic stuff, uh, she had a major, she can't get her money from PayPal. Co- she bought from Coach. Coach refunded the money to PayPal. And now PayPal won't give her the money back. I mean, it's, it's insane. It's like robbery. It's like she's been in a heist. Like she's been like uh, you know jacked over the head with a with a bat and Man. ripped ripped off by PayPal. That's crazy.